just another typical project. Wood, nails, glue, and milk bottles. Stick around. Wood was actually binding up there. It was closing up on the cut. I was fighting the kickback. A little scary. Sometimes that happens in really thick grain like this. Hey, shake it off. So be thankful that I had to make three of these which means that you get to see the third one and there's a process that actually makes sense as opposed to the first one and the second one. You hear that with doctors sometimes. They've got three steps. It's um, watch, do, teach. And I sort of feel that way with this. You know, the, the opposed to watch, the first step is try and then the second step is do. And then the third step is go on YouTube and pretend that I know what the heck I'm talking about. All right, so I think I've showed these before. These are aluminum nails, and they are completely useless for nails. But uh, I nipped the head off, and I'm gonna see if it will work for our spike. It certainly has an aggressive look to it. Yeah. Yeah, I think that'll work. I'll, uh, I'll glue that in. Okay, so I've got it mounted back into my uh, Jacob's chuck and I'm just going to round over the end and sand everything up. And walnut just finishes up so elegantly. Okay, so now we're just going to cut the channels in the top. And it's just a simple matter of cutting it here on the bandsaw. Okay, so what I made for my prototype were these, and I simply wanted something that was the right shape. I tried to glue them at first, um, but glue won't stick to this milk bottle material, so I had to come up with another solution. And so I figured I should make them like flights are made now, which is you cut a channel and you slip them in like that. All I need to do is trace this pattern onto some more milk bottle material. The important thing here is that the two sides are symmetrical. You need to sharpen these monsters too. That one's been sharpened. The other two still have the uh, nail profile on them. So I'll just take them over there and do a quick loop on it. Vintage walnut darts with milk bottle flights. I don't know. I think that's... <laughs> I think that's pretty cool. Yeah. And you don't have to use them for darts if you're not into that. Uh, they'd also be great message holders. Take out the trash! Thank you very much for watching, and please subscribe.